it's been about 28 days now since we bought those couple of head in from the other farm back onto the trial property to fatten them up for processing. So we'll head down now, we'll have a look what they've done, what they've grazed in the last 24 hours and what they're going into. And also they're going back into where they were 28 days ago. There's about two days, three days worth of grazing left. So I want to show you guys the regrowth of that area as well. But we better get cracking because I don't know if you can hear, you probably will during the video. It's starting to lightning and thunder around the area, man. We've got storms at the moment, summertime. So we better get cracking before this rain comes. Otherwise it uh, could put a damper on the whole process. Without putting a spoiler on things, this is what they're going into. As you can see, yep, I turned that hot wire off. There's my electric wire. That's sitting roughly two and a half foot off the ground. As you can see, that grass is higher than that. So this is the next area they're going into. If you come down here, I can't, oh there they are, they're lying down, they're chewing their cud. Chewing their cud's a good sign, which must be, they're content, they're full. They've got a belly full and now they're processing the grass inside. As you can see, that carbon is well and truly laid down in this paddock. That was over there back last night. As you can see, that's what they're going into. You can see the step-ins there, you couldn't see that last night. The grass is well and truly above that. And as you can see behind it, it's about a foot higher than that mark. But where they have grazed, you can see they've definitely got respect for that hot wire. In front of that, they've just chewed the grass off. They haven't walked along that line, but where you can see just down from there, this is all laid down. So they've spent time walking around here, laying this carbon down, but and that's what happens. They get respect for the wire. They definitely haven't walked. I'd say that's two foot off that hot wire. They've only eaten the tips off. Then they started trampling this grass down here. And that's what happens when you get them good hot wire trained. And the day before, hey boys, the day before you can see they were down over here. That's all trampled as well too. I'll step over this hot wire. Check out this. Check out the fats they've laid down here. Heaps and heaps and heaps of thatch. As you can see, as it gets down, it gets yellower from last time when they've laid it. It keeps going down, there's more more then it gets brown this rain start falling my back now so they've done a great job here so we'll move in into this paddock in this next area now because this rain starting to come down now it's starting to get heavier come on boys come on boys come on boys come on boys Now that we've moved them, I'll try and find them. As you can see this pasture here, like I said, it's mentioned it's about three foot high. It's a cross between, there's a touch of roads grass. We've got blue grass and then we've got creeping blue grass along the ground. We'll go find out where they're at and we'll have a look at their body conditioning now. I can see one just hopping down on the top of the hill there. There's a hill of clay there, he's a king of the hill at the moment. Oh, there he comes, coming down. So as you can see, there's loads of pasture in here. There's some that I'd say 80% of it's come to seed. That's why I don't wait for seed drops, guy. I don't particularly wait and have these seeds drop on the ground because eventually when you get rain, you cannot keep up with the growth of the grass and the seeds, it eventually gets ahead of you like it has done now and the seeds will drop. If you wait till it all comes to seed, it's gonna pleat in energy and 80% of it, the cows won't touch. They only touch if they're really, really hungry, not if they've got greener pasture around it. So a lot of the seeded stuff they're going to leave now and they'll eat the greener stuff around it. So that little fella there, he's come along well, but he won't be processed. The other one's going to be processed in 28 days. We're going to do him in about, oh, probably another 48 days, 60 days. 
after this other one. So this one here is going to be processed first. He's going to be done in 28 days time. So I've got to yes, talk to the mobile butcher. And I may take a video on that, on the processing side, but it's up to the mobile butcher. Some people don't like to be taped. So they'll be in here for roughly just over 24 hours. So I say it's going to be more close to the 36 hour mark because this is probably the size of the area that we have probably eight head of cattle in. And we got two. So probably more closer to two days in here. As you can see, there's a fair bit of fox star grass in there. That's that tall stuff. It'd be close on four foot high. As you can see, they're happily chewing away there. Like I mentioned, there's plenty of green growth in there for them. Just across the road here, that's where they went into 28 days ago. See this grass in here is pretty high. Like I mentioned, 28 days ago. Look at the regrowth now after 28 days. That'd be close to two foot, two and a half foot high. Some of that longer stuff, that seeded pasture there, which is past Palum, they had all the leaves off that and left the stem from the seed standing. So all those leaves would grow back leaves have grown back and the seeds are still there but that was all stem a lot of that was stem and same with the paddock there that's one done the paddock along as you can see it's already come to seed all that roads grass because we had a good rains over the last two months all that there like i said was grazed after this so that'd be oh, that'd be just over about that 26 28 day mark 20 26 Right at the top near the house there. It took them about seven days to get up there. So up there it's a little bit shorter, but it's still recovery is great. Because of the mood mobbing and mowing, you're getting that distribution of that manure and urine back on the ground. And you're getting that carbon lay down because you've tightened them into that area. Getting the carbon laid, getting the percentage of grass you want chewed before you move them out. So we're going to head back up to the house now. There's a couple of big claps of thunder and Butchie's beside himself. He hates thunder. He's panting heavily, so we better get him under the roof and some safety. So have a good morning, have a great afternoon and a terrific evening, guys, wherever you're watching us from, and we'll catch you later.